Is there anything in here? Sergeants, you guys are in for a real treat today. I'm giving you an adventure that I've never done before. Right behind me is a really old prison that's very haunted and I actually came here in the winter, all thanks to my friend Elliot. He hooked up this location and it was cold in the winter. We did like a rushed investigation. We caught some stuff on camera, but I really wanted to come back in the summertime. And as you guys can see, it is currently summertime and we are planning on doing something really cool inside of this prison today. That is camping out the night. We are camping and by we, I mean me and my old buddy, Angelo. Is that literally all you brought? That's, That's little... your tent? No, I have a sleeping bag. <laughs> dude, dude, this tent is awesome. It fits Isn't three it? people, oh, yeah. No. So I got Angelo with me. He's got a tent as well. And we're gonna be sleeping. We're gonna be camping out in this jail. And it's gonna be awesome. And I'm hoping we're gonna capture a lot of paranormal. So you guys have something really awesome to look forward to. And make sure to watch this video from the beginning to the end, because not only are we both camping out, but we're gonna be camping on different floors. So we're both gonna have different experiences of paranormal inside this jail. Smash the like button guys. And don't forget, July 4th is around the corner. What are you waiting for? July 4th, Timo Sarji merch and July 4th, Live a Little merch is on sale right now on the merch store, mosarji.shop. Get it while you can, this stuff is limited and you have literally two more weeks to get it and that's it. All right guys, just to show you that we are serious about this adventure today in this prison, this is all the gear that I have with me. I have a bunch of ghost gear, camera equipment, batteries, some extra lights. We got a sleeping bag, a really plush sleeping bag. A tent over here that can fit three people up here, or four persons tent that just pops up. Yeah, yeah dude, this thing is like an actual you bed. Trade? No. I got, I'll give you two of mine for one of yours. Bro, two of yours is not enough. This is like four in one. It's so tell. thick and comfortable. Mm. But before we go inside, Elliot's gonna give us some information about this haunted prison. And then we're gonna be finding basically where we're gonna be sleeping the night here. So you guys know Elliot. He doesn't need an introduction, but let's introduce him. Anyways, this is Elliot, Phantoms of Hi. Yore. His links are down below. Elliot's like the go-to guy for anything paranormal in Ontario, pretty much. Um, if you need bookings with him, you can contact him and he'll be more than happy to hook you guys up. And he knows everything about the paranormal. Elliot, what we got going on in this place? All right, so you guys are lucky because this place will be shutting down in two weeks. Oh. <clears throat> it has been abandoned, okay, since the 1970s. So, I mean, it's like, you know, 40 years of ingrown bushes, as you guys know, because you've been here before. Yeah. It's in horrible condition, and you guys camping out here is just insane. Like, I would never do it. Has so. anyone ever done that here? <laughs> Not to my knowledge. We've done worse. Honestly. We've done worse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this jail was used for a lot of vagrants, homeless people, numerous, numerous vagrant deaths. A lot of the activity here may be due to these, you know, people who unfortunately died here until they opened up the poor house. Now, there's one in particular named Granny, who Granny. lived her whole life here. Granny. Okay, she'd lived and died here. I think she spent about 30-something years here. When they opened up the poor house, she refused to move there. She wanted to live out the rest of her, die, her oh. days here. And if there's any one of these vagrant deaths still here, it would be Granny, because she refused to leave at the turn of the century when the poor house was open. She wanted to die here. So we literally have a granny spirit on our hands. Hmm. Like, you know the game Granny? That creepy game? Kinda. The horror game? Well, you should play it. So Granny would be in this front part, the governor's residence. She was very close to the matron, which was the wife of the turnkey. And she would have lived there with them. Now, there's also Big John Lee was the turnkey. He died here. He worked here his entire career. Huge guy my size. Okay, and uh, you know, from my experiences here, he does come through. Big guy, heavy footsteps. I think uh, when I was with you, when we heard the footsteps walking mm -hmm. through the jail, so he even even I caught now. caught footsteps in here when I was yeah. here last in the winter. Most of all, with you, most interesting was your connect the hangman that showed up. Uh, yeah, on the on the, the SLS cell. camera. Now, yeah, dude, I got someone like hanging on the bars. Yeah, yeah that, and it looked like he was actually tying it up himself. Yeah. 
you know, it could be one of those vagrant deaths that happened here. Yeah. Now, on the property also, there have been other executions, but just one here, Rufus Reedmark, and I call him the teapot killer. His wife threw a teapot at him. He got angry and strangled her to death. And he hung Jeez. here. It's the only execution for this jail here, which was built in 1862. But Thomas Easby was hung on the property. And this man killed his entire family but one son and he wanted to finish the job. Wow. Now what's interesting about him is that once he died and he was hung, the coroner skinned him and sold the pieces of skin to the public. And you can actually go online and find examples of bookmarks of his skin and purses and stuff like that. Jesus. Who was worse, the coroner or the murderer? I mean, back in the 1800s, these executions drew huge crowds of people. It was like a tourist thing. They would come to see a man die. So a lot is still unknown on the research here, but those are kind of the main players I just told you about. Yeah. And you guys, you know, I think should go on separate floors and, uh, you know, you got those walkie-talkies, keep in touch that way and just see what happens tonight because uh, once I'm gone, it's just you guys. So yeah, Elliot's not going to be here the entire night. He's just going to be, you know, doing his thing, the historical stuff, the informational stuff, and then he's going to leave us alone. And it's gonna get scary because I don't want to be alone, but whatever we're gonna do this for you guys So smash the hell out of that like button. You wouldn't do it? Why? No I do I, it I, You know all these other jails that that, <laughs> that that I've been with you guys at yeah. you know I know them well, so yeah. I, I know what to expect. Like this place is really new it's I only personally investigated it right? once I just don't know what's going on here mm -hmm. and what can happen here and remember not many people outside of you guys and myself have actually investigated this jail. Mm -hmm. So far, there's only three people on that list and they're right here. Beautiful. Let's go in and begin. <laughs> Say what? Yeah, we're gonna be the last ones, actually. Yeah. They are closing this place down. It's gonna become apartments. You know, I'm excited to see what this place is gonna look like after they renovate it and they turn it into like condominiums I'd be and curious stuff. to see what it looks like. I don't know if it's condos. Like, uh, I know there's a production happening. I mean, can't talk too much, but it's a restore, it's a restoration project and it'll be great to see this place fixed up so yeah by heritage co they can't change anything about the outside of it they can change the inside but they can't do anything about the outside so, so is there a possibility they might turn it into a museum that's my hope i would love that dude that would be cool all right i'll see you guys later all right i'm gonna go inside and find myself a camping spot oh boy this is gonna be scary the last time i was here oh, I'm stuck in the door <laughs> the last time i was here it was freezing cold in here Holy moly. And now it's kind of cold, but it's not freezing cold. But I'm thinking I'm gonna take the upstairs, right? Like the top floor. I think that would be the safest. Or maybe a prison cell. I think a prison cell might be the best thing to do. Camp out the night in a prison cell. Let's go upstairs, sergeants, and take a look and see. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of stuck. They're really narrow hallways, by the way. Super narrow. Hello, spirits. Don't kill me. I was here in the winter. I may have pissed you off, but let let bygones be bygones. I oh, shut the doors wide open here. And uh, please don't hurt me. Oh crap! Oh baby, this is gonna be some some scary scary action here tonight. Ugh. Should I take a cell or should I go upstairs to the administration side? All right, this is pretty terrifying. <laughs> Just being in here by myself right now is kind of scary. This is my dilemma right now. Hauling all this stuff. I still got more gear outside. But you know what, guys? This is what I wanted. I wanted a camping video in a prison. I'm gonna go up one more floor, I think. Oh, wait a sec. Let's go to solitary. I've never been in solitary before. Is it clean? Not bad. My tent will not fit in here, that's for sure. Let's go up to the top floor. I basically, I basically want my tent to fit. That's what I'm looking for. You know what? I'm ditching my gear. Let's go and see if we can find a nice clean room. Hey, this is not bad. But, wait. We got bulletproof glass to protect us from anybody trying to shoot us at nighttime. It smells like mold in here, no thank you. It smells terrible in there. Let's go up to the next floor and see if it's better to sleep up there. I can't believe we're doing this. I've always wanted to sleep 
um, like in a prison with camping gear. Like I've done overnight challenges in prisons in the past, but never with camping gear. Oh, that's really bad up here. Yeah, the attic, now that I remember. So here's the thing, I film a lot of videos. I think I'm almost at a thousand videos on the main channel. I film a lot of videos and I forget 99% of them. And sometimes when I come back, I start to remember what happened and it scares the shit out of me. Now this is more likely. I think this is gonna be my home for today. Post up my camping tent over here. I can literally see right out the window. Angelo and Elliot are actually still out in the parking lot. As you guys can see, I am in here completely alone. Look at that, they're right there. And I'm in here by myself. This is freaking terrifying. But I think this is the perfect place to set up my tent. I kind of made a mistake for two reasons. First reason being is that I have a lot of gear. Second reason is that apparently this is the granny room. On this floor up here that I'm on right now, this is where the spirit or possession or the demonic granny, now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I feel like she's just gonna appear out of that door. And Angela's still not even in the building. And Elliot just left. Ah! Oh! So I'm gonna be camping out inside the granny room. Just great. I am gonna try to make this video as long as possible. I realize you guys absolutely love long videos. So please watch them from the beginning till the end. I'm gonna try to keep you guys entertained throughout the entire adventure. And yes, I did bring a very bright light. This is definitely a must for today. Because it's gonna get really, really dark in here. And that is the last of my gear. It's time to start setting up the tent. Now, unfortunately, we can't make a campfire in here. It is pretty hot. I don't see a need for it. But we also don't want to set the building on fire. Although they are renovating it, we just don't want to set it on fire. So here we go. Three, two, one. Jesus Christ. Just get the shit out of me. Yeah, you might find a good area. Right? right? It's not bad. It is. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find one in Death Row. Where is that? Oh, that's downstairs. Yeah, no? The other side. Of the area. All right, have fun. Angela's gonna go to Death Row. I'm gonna be in here. Now you're probably wondering, why aren't you gonna be in sharing? Well, we're stupid. That's why. But honestly, I think I think we can handle it. We've been through a lot. We can definitely handle it. Hey, there we go. My tent's all set up now. Now it's got a position problem. All right, as you guys can see, my tent is completely set up here. Nice and snug, and it's not going nowhere. I think I actually might position it this way. It's absolutely mind boggling to think that we got a prison over here, and if you just walk right into this room, we have ourselves Mo Sargi's bedroom. And the cool thing is I got a door. So I'm safe and secure and it doesn't lock, which is kind of good because I don't want to get trapped in there like a certain friend of mine <laughs> years ago in a prison. But Angelo actually just told me something and I totally forgot that I've camped out in an abandoned prison before. We camped out at the Burwash prison in Sudbury, Ontario years ago. And that's when we had things happening and we actually left my really expensive tent there. I just left it there. I didn't give a shit about it. I would love to go back there one day. It's a, it's a trek. It's like a two hour journey through like the wilderness just to get to this place. You can't get there by car, but I would love to go back there one day and see if my tent is still there. But here we go again, a haunted, uh, a haunted tent video, a haunted camping adventure in a prison. This should be really interesting. Number one rule of camping with most RG, shoes off. <laughs> Yo, it is hot in here. Elliot was telling us that it's going to be cold in this prison because it's hot out and it's cold in here. It's cold on the downstairs part, but like not crazy cold. But I am drinking a lot of water, so I need this water to last me all night. There's literally no restaurants nearby. We can't order food if we wanted to. We're in Perth. Perth is like the deadest, quietest town ever here in Ontario. So like after 9 p.m., everything is shut down. You know what? Whatever. Let's try to capture some ghosts. I'm done setting up my, my room. Let's go check on Angelo and see his progress and begin this investigation. I'm really excited about this one. So I've got a ball set up over here and another one on the window ledge. So if anything affects these or touches these, they're gonna start going off. I also have a REM pod. 
working here. As you can see, if anything gets close to it, it's gonna start going off. Let's go and see what Angelo is up to and what his current tent situation is like. I remember having a lot of paranormal activity behind this really big creepy door. Barely even open, it's so massive. Let's go over here. I think this was the floor where I caught like this hanging spirit inside of the prison cells. I guess Angel is not in any of Whoa, well, those are lights. I guess he's not in any of these ones here. Where is this guy? What the hell, it's a dead end. I don't remember this being a dead end. It's probably on this side, I think. So easy to get lost in this place. Oh, oh there's Angelo. That is a massive tent. <laughs> he, his tent literally took up the entire hallway. Look at this. Hello, sir. Are you in here? Where is he? Angelo. Where is this guy? I need you to do me a big solid favor. First of all, if you haven't smashed that like button, why even watch this video? Like why come to my channel? Smash the like button. Let me know where you're watching these videos from. I really want to know what country, what state, what city. Tell me your address, your phone number. I'm just joking. Don't give me the address or phone number. Let me know where you guys are watching from. And I really want to know um, what parts about these videos do you like? Do you like the adventure aspect? Do you like the abandoned aspect? And do you like the haunted aspect? Because I give you guys all of the above. Everything all into one video. I don't just do the paranormal. I mix it with adventure. I've been doing this like this for like eight years nonstop now. And that's why you guys have stuck around. We're almost at 3 million subscribers. If you're new here, please subscribe. Let's help get this channel to 3 million. We're almost there. And I think by now we've already hit a thousand videos on this channel. I don't remember how many videos I have. Hey, Elliot. Yo. We're gonna get you to rate our setups. Oh, you can't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta be truthful you and see honest. Mine yet, no? Huh? Have you see mine yet? I see, yeah, I showed yours when you were outside. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think this guy's gonna be hosting a family in here, like an Airbnb. It's a four person tent, I can be sprawled out. <laughs> right? He's like out here in the middle of the hallway. What do you think, Elliot? Uh, I'd probably give it a three and a half. Three and a half out of ten? Yeah, Holy, that's a low, low score. What, why do you give it a three and a half out of ten? Why do you hate Angelo so bad? <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Is it because he took the hallway? Yeah, it's the positioning, it's like crammed into two cells. I well, I could always just do this. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Right? There we go. There we awesome. go. All right, come on in. Wow. I this. It looks better. <laughs> look I mean. Yeah, look at that. I got a shelf here to put stuff. I got my gear. <laughs> Yeah, I have a metal shelf in mine. <laughs> yeah, true, true. No, 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 I'm not walking over your stuff. And, yeah, uh-huh. And you have equipment set up already. This is what we do. We review um, campsites and prisons. And I got the most comfortable sleeping bag in the world. This thing is like a... Can I try it? Go ahead. It's literally like a bed. So comfortable. And if you fold it in half, it becomes even more comfortable. This sleeping bag was like $200, but well worth it. Honestly? Well, yeah. Honest opinion? Huh. It's horrible. <laughs> it's, no, it's not. Dude, fold it in half. When I sleep on it, I fold it in half and you don't <laughs> and you don't feel nothing. Whoa. Okay. What the heck? I've been sitting in my tent just laying down. Just waiting for some activity to happen and finally we got something. Whoa, okay. What time is it right now? Hold on, let me take a look at the time. It is actually 11 p.m. right now. Hey spirits, can you stop doing that? So this thing's been running for about an hour and a half. I actually ended up going to the store and getting some snacks as well, because I knew I'm gonna get hungry. And now all of a sudden I'm getting some activity on the device here. Got some pistachios. Got some protein bars and I got some water. Um, yeah, I left this thing running the entire time and nothing, even nothing on the cat ball over there and nothing on the other cat ball up on the window. Sergeants, I am on the second floor now and I cannot believe what's happening to me. So I was doing like a whole thing, just a walk around 
of this area for my vlog channel, the second channel. If you guys haven't subscribed to it, go subscribe. I want to hit a million soon. Something just moved here. Hello? So, what? when I was walking through here, and you guys can see it on the vlog channel, I started feeling weird. There's nobody in here. I started feeling weird just in this area alone. The second I got here, Hello? Angelo is outside, Elliot has gone home. And the reason why Angelo's outside is, is I think he's just getting stuff from his car. Yo, but it's terrifying in here. If one of these cell doors literally just closes on me right now, I'm gonna be shitting my pants. Is there anybody with me right now? Are there any spirits that want to communicate with me? Come talk to me. Do you want me to dim my light? Is my light too bright for you? You want me to turn it off? Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's scary. My name is Mo Sarji and I, this device that's in my hand, it's a camera. And if you want to show yourself, or do something for the camera, I would really appreciate it. I am itching for a scare tonight. Like, I don't want something bad to happen, but at the same time, I haven't been scared properly in a while. So do your worst, spirits. Come scare me. Hello? Who is that? How's it going? So oh, it's you. Scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Dude, for some reason, the second floor, yeah. the second I walked in there, I started feeling off. Like there's a here? A evil presence in here, like in this hallway. Which is interesting because last time I was here, this is where we were getting a lot of stuff. Really? We were hearing like a lot of footsteps, random bangs. Yeah, last Sounded time like the cell doors were opening and closing. Yeah, that happened to me last time too But I actually I think it was in here or the other side I caught I caught something on the SLS in here But right now I walked through here alone. I just felt like something was like enveloping me hmm. It's really weird because I am on the third floor now I haven't gone up to the attic just yet to see what's up there But I'm gonna go up there alone right now while Angela's setting up his gear and I'm going full-blown lights up there because I'm terrified of the attic The attic is like the scariest part of this place There's my room over here. Let's go to the attic and see if there's anything up there. The last time I was up here in the winter time, I had something like thrown at me. I don't know what it was, but it was, it was terrifying. Hello? I can't remember what room I was in. But imagine working in these rooms back in those days. Imagine how terrifying it was. As you guys can see, the, the roof is being supported. Yeah, I just don't know what it was. Like, it could have been anything, really. Hello? Are there any spirits in here? Well, look at the wall over here. It's like falling apart. Man, I'm terrified of this place. It's not the biggest attic, but it really is scary. Angela? That came from in here. Oh, what the fuck was that? Hello? There are any spirits in here right now with me. Make a door close, show yourself, say something to the microphone, make something happen. I want to know that you actually exist in here and so do millions of other people that watch these videos. They want to see you. They want to talk to you.
Why is it that you make noises when I'm turned around, when I can't see what's going on? Are you with me? What the fuck was that? Sound like something came from this room over here. Don't be afraid of me. I'm kind of afraid of you. For some reason, I'm getting some really strange vibes from this room over here. This one in particular. I don't want to walk down that way because it's really destroyed. Make something move. Are you with me? So the reason why I'm spending so much time in here is because I really do feel like there is something up here. I mean, it's the attic. It's always the most haunted part. Like, I'm staying in Granny's room. But when I was here last time, if I remember correctly, I either got pushed by something or touched by something or scratched. I can't remember 100% what it was. But something definitely happened to me up here in this area in particular. All right, I think I spent enough time up here. Well, I came up to your attic. I spent enough time up here. See you later, suckers. Man, I swear to God, if that door like closes out of nowhere. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said suckers, but sometimes I like to antagonize the spirits. I prefer to do that. Like, I don't recommend you guys did that, but I prefer to do it because it just, you know, it's how I do things. I haven't used my K2 meter yet, but if you guys remember the last time I was here, this K2 was going berserk in the hallway. Uh, just the old fashioned K2 meter. And when I had it, I think it was in like this area here. Yeah, see, it's not doing anything now. Which is kind of good, because if it was doing something now, then, as you guys can see, it would mean that it's, something's coming from here, but there's no electricity, nothing that could possibly affect the K2 or the EMF in any way. Hey, spirits. Make my K2 go off. Do something. Oh, it feels very cold in this area in particular. And all of a sudden I got a couple blips on the EMF. Yeah, and now it's gone. Wow, so there was something that just passed through really quickly and now it's gone. Angela, are you here? This guy is never home. Also, why is this gate closed? That's weird. I think he might be downstairs. So I haven't really investigated downstairs. Let's go down below. I left a night vision camera in my room. Out of all places, I left it in my room, rolling. So hopefully the night vision captures something. I'm gonna make my way all the way down to the main floor. This is like the second floor right now because the main floor is actually really creepy too. It's gonna be a wild night, that's for sure. So down here was like the intake part of the jail. Whenever they take in like criminals or even sometimes homeless people, they would just put them in here. Do these like little cells. Apparently there's tunnels here, but nobody knows how to access them or how to get to them. And we've never really found the entrance way to them. So I don't know, there, there may or may not be tunnels. Ooh, I've never seen any of this. These shower areas are all new to me. Oh. See, it's kind of good that I came back. Was it worth it for a shower? Probably not, but it's worth it for a video. Are these tunnels? Nope. I wonder what they're gonna do with all the bars in here. Are they gonna melt it all down for metal out of junkyard, or are they gonna repurpose it, rebuild it? This was the prison guard control room over here. This is for the alarms. Obviously don't work no more. And at some point there would be like a, a switchboard here where they can control cells and stuff. Yes, this place was built in the 1800s, 
but you know, obviously it became modernized to somewhat of a degree. Could be something under this one. Wow, clickbait. <laughs> There's nothing there. And this was the visitation room. This is where, you know, your family would show up and be like, you did a naughty thing, which is why you're in here. And, you know, sometimes people were innocent and were put into jail and, and that was the unfortunate part of jails and it still happens nowadays. You know, there's a lot of innocent people that have done nothing wrong and they're in jail. And even for like petty crimes too. Your grandpa was going crazy in your room. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I just walked in and for some reason it kept going. It just would repeatedly do this weird thing. So I've got my um, night vision camera rolling up. Yeah, there. I know. I know. So hopefully that. I capture something. Yeah. Well, I literally caught it because I walked in the room and then it just started going nuts. Was there anything else like in the room? Like no, just that. Cool. So it seems that my night vision camera captured the REM pod going off. I'm gonna go take a look at it right now. Have you caught anything? Uh, just that. Well, actually, no. My other REM pod went off before I even started recording. It went off the, you know the loud one that Elliot uses? Yeah. The one that scares the crap out of you? Oh yeah, that it, one. I put it up where the gallows are, mm -hmm. and before I even hit the record button, it started going off, and that one never goes off. What's that in your head? Uh, so this is like, um, communication like to speech. Oh, no so, way. Yeah, so they can pick like essentially words, letters, things like that. I haven't got, I only got F so far. F, okay. Yeah. So literally just the letter F. Dude, how cool would it be if it said Granny? Oh, that would be crazy. Oh. Yes, upstairs. I heard something. Hello? Granny? Tom? What's the other guy's name? Uh, Rufus? Rufus. John. And John, John Lee. Tom, Granny, Rufus, and John Lee. Yeah. I'm gonna go take a look. Yeah. I'm gonna go and check out my REM pod. That's why I left the night vision camera in case it captures something. So hopefully it did capture something in there. Cause that'd be cool. Oh, what is going on? Is it still going? Yeah. Yeah, it's been doing that for like five minutes now. I literally just walked in and we're going to do it. Whoa, Rampod's going crazy. What the hell? And I'm pretty sure my, my night vision captured something. I really hope the night vision is rolling. So I hope it captured something. It was recording when I walked in. So. It's still recording right now. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it was doing, and then it'll periodically go to green like that. I'm gonna check the footage right now. You hear that, right? Yeah, I thought that was this. No, that's off. What is that noise? I don't know. It's coming from here. I'm very confused. That is weird. There's no alarms on this building. No. Whoa, it's gone. You hear it like faintly. It's gone now. Maybe it's coming from downstairs. Dude, it literally stopped. Yeah. That's weird. That wasn't any of your devices? No. The only thing I have running well on your side anyways is, uh, I call it the Home Depot scanner, but... But we don't have any any tech that makes that noise. I thought it was a ramp this whole time. Oh, it's back. What the f is going on? It just went away. It just stopped. What the fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing ever. We should stand still. Yeah. 
see if we can hear it again. I don't know. It's funny because the REM pod's not going off yeah. right now. I don't know about anything else. Wait, did you turn off the REM pod? Uh, Why? Well, I was going to reset it. And then it's off now, though. Completely off. I thought I turned it back on. Okay, no, just making sure you turned it off. I'm turning yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, what the hell is that other noise? Okay, that's a REM pod. Yeah, it's going crazy again. Yeah, that should not be doing that. Oh, there's that noise again. Where the f is it coming from? It's getting louder. Oh, I'm turning off the REM pod. Sorry, guys. Alright, so we've been sitting here waiting for this noise to come back. We can't figure out where the hell it's coming from. And it stopped. Hey, Granny! You take that side, I'll take this side. Okay. Let's see if we uh, get anything here. Now, keep in mind the hanging tower is just about that way over there. I remember the last time I got something in here. Spirits? <gasps> Angelo? Yeah. Was that you? No, I'm over here. Hey. Yeah. Seriously, that wasn't you? No, no. I Look. I was standing like right there. I was getting the out of my phone already. This door is closed. Did you, were you recording? Oh, what the f I just saw something moving. Where? I just got something, like, moving what? off the wall. You did that. That, because that door wasn't closed, right? No, we walked in from there. Granny, was that you? Cart. It's a cart. Cart? Yeah. Hey, open that door. Oh. That's it? Yeah. Oh my god. This door closed. How could something have that much energy to pull? Look, look at how it did. Look, that thing is freaking heavy. Yeah. It's solid iron. That's what oh we heard. God. Oh yeah. my god. I feel lost. I feel lost. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you lost because you can't find your way to the other side? Are you stuck here? What the hell? How could something have that much energy? Dude, I just saw something right on the stairs. Like it was kind of like a... It looked like a person almost. Did you get a description? I didn't even make it out, I just saw like the top part, it just moved really quick. Granny, show yourself. Granny? Tom, Rufus, John. Did it just say granddad? It said grand, it's granddad. What the? <laughs> How? Whoa! Look at that. Last word. It's granddad. It's grand. Oh my god. What does that mean, though? I have no idea. Is it like maybe it was Granny's partner at some point? So I can assure you guys, there's nobody else here but us. All is well. Wow. Well, all is well is not well with us because something's closing heavy doors in here. And we want to know who it is. Can you help us figure out who closed that door? So by the way guys, right here. This is where the bodies we dropped. Well, I mean only one person was hung here. 
And this is where that body dropped. Check it out, there's a knife here. Holy crap. That's creepy. What is it doing here? I don't know, it's just sitting here. That's weird. I touched it. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> For the record, police, if somebody gets stabbed with this knife, it's not me. So guys, I've been back in my tent for a good 20 minutes now. We haven't really had any excitement happen after that last stuff that happened, but that was so strange. Like I was in one hallway and Angela was in the other one. And then it's almost like something closed. I, I we didn't close that door. And it's impossible because we both heard it and got it on our cameras at the same time. Um, so right now it is, you know, I'm going to keep this on if I get any activity on this. Oh, wait, I am getting activity on it. It was just going off. So the fact that we caught the sound of a door closing in here is freaking wild. And then there was like some strange EMFs going off. Oh yeah. There was like, there it is. There it is. You guys see that? There was like some strange freaking like beeping noise in here. Wow, I'm talking about the beeping noise and then the EMF is going off. Wow. Um, and we still haven't figured out what it was because we never heard it again after that, which is freaking crazy. I love this. I love the fact that we're doing this, that we're camping out here today. Got myself a nice protein bar because I'm, I'm hungry. Rest up a little bit. I've been like up since 6 a.m. filming videos and, and doing stuff and just making content for you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you guys end up getting that Timo Sarji merch and even the LEL stuff because I got like the American stuff and this as the LEL brand on my shirts. LEL, if you don't know, stands for live a little. I want you guys to live a little. I don't want you guys to sit at home and, and just watch TV all day long. Watch me on TV, of course but I want you guys to actually do something with your life as well. Cause life is short and you only get one opportunity and uh, you can't just waste it being at home. Don't, well, honestly guys, like a lot of people message me all the time about like depression and stuff. How, how do I not get depressed? Well, here's the thing. I'm too busy to get depressed. I really am. And as I'm talking right now, my K2 is going crazy. Hold on, let me see if I can show you to you guys. Look at this. Go crazy, K2. There's a spirit in here. Make it go to yellow. Why now? All of a sudden, you don't want to do nothing, huh? Make it go to yellow. If there's a spirit, or ooh, there it is. Okay. Can you make it go all the way to red again? Wow, I didn't even finish what I was saying. And it made it go to red. Are you gonna hurt us today? If so, make it go to yellow or red. What the f Angelo? Wait, I thought I heard somebody walking over here. So I asked if it's gonna hurt us today. Why do you wanna hurt us? What the hell did we do to you? Anyways guys, really sorry I got like kind of caught off guard. The only reason why I don't get depressed and I really don't because I keep myself busy. That's like the number one thing to do when you're feeling depressed. Keep yourself busy because if you don't, then you're gonna get depressed. And honestly, in my opinion, there's a lot of reasons out there to be depressed, but one of the main reasons is people are always bored and they don't realize it. You have to do something with your time. You can't just sit at home and like, you know, play video games, which is cool. You can do it if you want to, but if you want to avoid being unhappy, get out there and live a little. And that's what this brand is all about. So do me a solid favor, live a little. Mm. I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. It's been really, really quiet. I don't want to disturb Angelo. I think he might be sleeping. But I do want to go down to the second floor. I took a bit of a nap, not gonna lie. Well, not a nap, but like a, a 20 minute break, kind of just sitting in my tent. I do want to go down to the second floor and see what kind of stuff I can capture. Keep your eyes open, guys. In case I do capture something in the darkness that I miss. I think Angel's awake. I 
I mean, at this point, we should be having a ton of paranormal activity, especially because at the time that we are in right now. It smells like smoke in here. It's not even on. Power on. 16. Yo, that is the weirdest thing ever. What in the actual f Angela? Where are you? Dude, you won't believe what just happened. So I was in there. Yeah. And I had one walkie-talkie off in my, my room up there. In my box. And one in my pocket. And one in my pocket. Just started going off. It was like there was like a screeching and like a faint talking. But the second walkie that I have was Wait, off. You just heard talking now? Yeah, yeah. So like, this walkie's in my pocket. It starts to go crazy, staticky and noises. And then I'm like, wait a sec. So I run upstairs because the other one was off in my box. Yeah. Off in my box. When I heard you and I was coming up the stairs, I heard a voice behind me. I do have my, uh, my app going down there. Oh, okay. So that's probably what yeah. I just heard. So I was in there. In the guard room. The... Wait, no. On the other side. This yeah. Side? Wait, was I just in here? Were we just in the same spot? I, yeah, I was just below it. I was literally just below this area. I was... Yeah, I was in here. I was in here and it went off in here. Yo, that was so trippy. Cause like, you, he, Angelo does not have a, a second walkie. I got two walkies. I was actually planning on giving you one so you can keep oh, on you. Okay. Well, um, you. Sure wait a sec, let's make sure we're on the same channel actually. Yeah. Hold I, don't, on. I don't really know how to use this, so. so. <laughs> hello, hello? So we're not on the same channel. 16. So there's a button on the side, small buttons. Oh, here? Yeah, just push the small one of these small buttons. Oh, on that side? Yeah, yeah. No, that's that. What? Oh. Three. Whoa! So it was on line. Six. How the hell? So I got something Seven. on this, and it wasn't from the one in my box then. Oh. Eight. Unless Nine. it scrambled the channels. Maybe. Ten. Go to 16. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. She sounds very British. <laughs> my guess, one, two, three. Yeah, it's working. Okay. But so then who the heck, or what the heck was it <laughs> that contacted me in this room? <laughs> So you actually heard like a voice come through? Yeah, it was like a, a like a, kind of like a, the white oh, noise and then like so, something yeah. subtle. Yeah. For a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So I'm on the second floor now. And this is the floor that creeps me the f out. Yeah, it definitely creeps me the f out. Hello spirits. Is there anything in here? God damn it! Oh, fuck. What the f why is this closed? Yo! Yo! What's the actual I just got pushed into a cell! Huh. No! I'm locked in, dude! Is there another way out? Oh, fuck. I just. Oh, my. I don't wanna go back that way. I got pushed in a f. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Angelo? I feel like something's touching me right now. My ankle. Whatever just did that messed up my ankle. Angelo? Hello? 
Bro, I can't get out, I'm locked in! What the f***? How'd you get in there? Bro, something locked me in and pushed me into a cell. Okay, so you were here the entire time, right? Yeah. Okay, because there was something like slamming down the basement where I am. On this thing, it said satanic twice. No joke, no. no. That. And it happened at the exact same time I started screaming? Yeah, literally. I got, dude, I got pushed my ankles up right now. I was inside of one of the cells and I got slammed into the wall. I fell down on the ground. I tried to run out from here and this door is closed. Look, I can't even get out. It's closed shut. It literally doesn't open, dude. Oh, so you heard, like, you heard, you had like satanic shit happen? Yeah, like it was. It said satanic twice. Is it actually like yeah. stuck? Stuff? Dude, it's stuck. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. Oh, my no, dude, from the other side. dude, something like tried to f me up in here. Yeah. Something actually tried to mess me up in here. I think it was this cell here too, on the second floor. Oh my God, I'm getting that feeling again. Oh, my leg hurts. Ah. Yeah, it was, dude, it shoved me right into the wall in there. Really? Like I swear to God, it shoved me and it fell to the ground. It hurt my fucking ankle. Look at me, I'm all covered in like dust and shit. Yeah. It's almost like whatever came in on that walkie-talkie was like a warning. Dude, is there something touching my neck right now? I feel something touching my neck. It feels hot. Something's touching my neck. Holy crap, yeah. Actually, it's like really red. I can feel it getting hotter and hotter right now. I, I want to get out of here. Oh, shit. I want to get out of here. So you can go... Angela screaming. Bro, that was too much downstairs. I don't know what the hell that was. I felt it, like I felt it engulf me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. After midnight now, I'm freaking out. It feels like something's touching my right shoulder blade, right? Like I'm not even joking. Something's actually touching my right shoulder blade. I can tell. I can feel it touching me. Like I can literally. Neck is like super red though. It got hot. It's like really, really red. Dude, that's a scratch. Yeah. Dude, it looks like multiple, multiple fingers. Actually. Yeah. So I got scratched. Yeah. It's like three, I think. When it when it pushed me. It felt like it shoved me through my chest, really? into the wall. Like I hit my back in the wall. Like that's why. Like... Dude, something tried to lock me in. Yo, I haven't been pushed that violently ever. Like I've been pushed before, but never that violently. And what's with this door not opening up? God damn, I have a headache all of a sudden. Yeah, this is it. It's, it's, it's like sealed. The music box, where is it? It's downstairs. Listen. It wasn't going off when I set it up. Downstairs, downstairs. The music box is going off. Dude, that's been there for like 15 minutes. It did nothing. Yeah. Nothing at all. And the only way to set that off is to trip yeah. it. You literally have to walk right in front of it within like a meter and a half. What the actual? Dude, are you are you in the middle of the center right now? 
I'm probably still not even close enough to it. No, no, keep it on, keep it on. We should ask questions and let it talk to us that way. Let's let it reset. Yeah. Are there any violent spirits here in front of this box? I want to see what the other, the other thing said in the So it is on right now. I'm going to watch this if I walk in front of it. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh, I'm walking in front of it. Nothing. Oh, yeah, see, there we go. You gotta get within a meter and a half. Okay, so then something so was. There you go. So now it's not. Something was setting that off for real. Yeah. Are you with us? Are you the one that pushed me upstairs? Make that device go off again. That was, that was you. Yeah. That was Angela tripping. Yo, it's almost like when we went near the door. Yeah. It started to go off. Like here? No, no, no. Upstairs. Oh, upstairs trying to open that door. Yeah, we can go back up and try it out again. Why does it want that door closed? God damn it. Something's trying to lock something in or? Yeah. Yo, my back hurts. Yeah, you're all dirty. Oh. Are you trying to keep something from coming out? We're gonna open your door now. If we can. If that, yeah, if that music box goes off, dude. What the hell? Do you see how heavy that door is? What the f Are you with us? The answer on here, yes or no? Again, I feel like something's touching my back, my right shoulder blade. Bro, I'm not even making this up, bro. There's literally something touching my right shoulder blade. Still? Yes, like, like it cut. Huh? No, it started. Or it just started again. It just started again right now. I thought I just heard the music box. I'm, I'm, I'm all freaking out right now. Fear is like taking, taking over me. Yeah, I did hear it. Make that music box go off again. How funny is that, that it's not going off now? Dude, I feel like if you take it to that cell that I was in, I might actually get something. Holy shit. On oh, the music box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can try that. Wow. It's still on? Yeah, yeah. Yo, we should sit in the cell over here and just watch. Okay, that was me. Just to show you guys how close you have to be to this thing. All right, we're in your prison cell. There's no way this door is even remotely close enough to that. No, it's not the door. I don't think. But like even so, it's not like the door affected it before, right? Yeah. And then it goes off by itself when we went near the upstairs door. I'm all bruised up for a video, literally. That was so violent, dude. Just felt like it went through me and then it like, it's like you ever get being kicked in the chest? Or like the feeling of something hitting your chest hard? Yeah. But slamming you to a wall. Yeah, I got wounded and it, and it dropped to the ground. All right, so we're gonna take this device upstairs. It sound like something thumped like a big, big loud footsteps. You know what's killing me right now? Is okay. how the hell are we hearing footsteps when everything's concrete? <sighs> right, like something has to be walking very violently loud in here. But those are probably the only heavy enough things that been hearing a lot of like subtle bangs here and there. Yo, that's like, I mean, how much are we gonna capture? You know what I mean? I don't know, man. Sometimes you never know. The thing is, is, you have to be quiet, but it gets boring if you're just gonna stay quiet and you're not really listening in to anything. But sometimes you have to just listen. Hello? That came from in here. There's no way it was the cell that I got pushed in, was it? This one doesn't even close. Well, it can't, it's closed. 
Yeah, this one doesn't close either. So... But this one was, we left it open. Did we? Oh my god. That is a cell. That is a cell. So, I mean, like, you could say, oh, there was somebody in here doing this, but dude, if you walk in here, yeah, you can hear every yeah, footstep. Exactly. There's too much going on in here. I'm trying to show you guys every crevice. Look at this. Fuck. Oh, shit, was that you? Yeah, scared the crap out of me. Dude, I'm on edge right now because of what happened in that cell. Realistically, what could it have been, you know? I have no idea. Like, I mean, I have an idea, but... What do you think? I mean, there's a lot of spirits in here, obviously. Um, but the fact that that thing said satanic twice, back to back, with everything that's been going on right now... Back to back, Ow! Fuck! Oh, I hit my back on this. Ow. I don't know, something moved over there. It scared the shit out of me. Bang my back into that shelf. Wait, 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 wait. We're doing this wrong, dude. We just heard a noise down there, and then we heard a noise up there. Yeah. Let's split up. Okay. You mother. Oh, scared the shit out of me. We heard something metallic in here. Yo, I am beat up from this investigation, you guys. I, I'm gonna call this one soon. Hello? Show yourself. I wanted to scare today, and, I'm, and I think I got it. But I don't want to get scared anymore. I'm gonna go and just camp out of my tent. A few hours, get some rest, and then drive home. Oh. Yep. It's time now. Take a break, an hour, maybe two hours. I doubt I'm gonna get any sleep, but I need to get some rest before I hit the road. I live about an hour and a half, and Angel lives about three hours. And we have to lock up this place. Uh, like it's late right now. It's over 3 a.m. Now we've been at this all night long We've been getting a lot and we've been sitting around a lot too like there's uh, you know Sometimes we're just like sitting here listening in like whenever you guys see the clips of us just sitting around listening in Sometimes like 20 minutes goes by sometimes half an hour There's been times where we've sat around for 45 minutes just trying to listen in I got scratched today I got pushed my ankle hurts my back hurts. I backed up into a shelf Earlier in the night, that shit hurt. It's gonna cost me tomorrow. Um, place is mega haunted. We still don't know which spirit it is that's doing it. I don't think we'll ever find out. This place could still be haunted even after they renovate it. It might still have all the paranormal activity attached to it. It might not, you never know. They're gonna be gutting this place from the walls to the floors. They're gonna be redoing it all. So God knows what's hidden within these walls. It could be why there's hauntings happening here, or it could be attachments from the spirits that died here. For instance, the dude that was hung here, granny that was living in this room that I'm in right now, or it could be John, and it could be the other guy, Tom. Who knows? All I know is this place is super haunted. I'm gonna take um, like an hour nap, if, if possible. I'm gonna try to take a nap. Maybe I'm just gonna sit and chill on my phone or whatever. And I'll get back to you guys if something else happens. I heard a weird, 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 weird noise. I'm purposely sleeping with the, the tent lid open in case I need to like run out of here. But 
it sounded like something was hovering over my tent and it was breathing in a weird way. Let me just show you guys how dark it is in here without my light on. Yeah, pretty scary. Honestly guys, I managed to get like 20 minutes of sleep and then I was woken up by like something. It sounded like there was something here and I know it's not gonna be Angelo because he respects my privacy and I respect his, especially when we're doing stuff like this. Like we don't wanna be like pranking and messing around with each other, especially not so late into the night. I am delusional at this point because I'm tired, exhausted. I've been up since like 6 a.m. It's almost four o'clock in the morning right now. And I think I'm gonna get out of here real soon. Yeah, fun night. It's been a crazy night. Oh, I just took another nap. I, I, I cannot believe I dozed off a little bit. I really wish I hit record on my night vision camera because there was some movement hanging around in here. But honestly, I'm kind of happy I didn't because we caught enough and I just don't want to review that footage and see something like standing above me while I'm inside of this tent. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to you guys. Merch, links down below. We just did this crazy video for you. I got pushed and shoved into the wall. I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. I literally just had a massage like two days ago and now I'm gonna have to go back to my masseuse and explain to her that a freaking demon shoved me into the wall. Anyways, live a little merch, Team Mosargy merch down below, mosargy.shop. Get them while you can. The link is in the description, top of the comments, and you can even see a thing right here, mosargy.shop. Go and check it out, get yourself that merch. And we're about to get the hell out of here and go check out Angelo. His channel link is gonna be down below. Are you good? I'm good. Let's get the hell out of here. It's way to hell. <laughs> Definitely. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next adventure.